How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Mike, and welcome back to episode number 23 of my Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke. This is the end game. Last time we defeated the champion of the Pokemon League, YouTube, and now there's only a few things left for us to do before we end this run. So let's leave our house, but I think somebody's gonna try to stop us. YouTube, how did YouTube get in my house? Morning, Kanto champion, but don't get too comfortable with that title. I plan on stealing it from you soon. Yeah, right, like that's gonna happen again. First though, did you hear the rumors? What rumors? There's talk about some crazy strong looking Pokemon being spotted. What kind of Pokemon? Where is it? I hear it looks super strong and super cool. The Pokemon was seen near Sur Cerulean City? Well, let's go to Cerulean City. Bang, we're in Cerulean City now, and I did a little bit of training in between that transition there. I brought basically everybody on the team except Hera up to about level 60 because we're gonna have a big battle coming up in Cerulean Cave. Oh, I guess I opened up my box there. But we're gonna have a big battle coming up against a big, bad, crazy, scary Pokemon. So I trained up my team so they'll be able to handle it, and I also put Hera on the team because I feel like she might be a useful back. Up. My plan going into this big battle in the cave is to use Anakin against that Pokemon, but then I'll also have Hera as a backup because Hera has a lot of HP and has like all right defenses, but the main thing that I'll use if we really need to do it is Toxic, but I think that Anakin is strong enough to take him out. But anyway, let's go to Cerulean Cave now that the man is out of the way, and one of the cool things about being the champion in this game is now you can fly around. So that means not only can I fly around and make traps a lot easier, but I could also go and see Pokemon flying around in the air, which I actually kind of want to do, because Pokemon in the water look weird, but I'm imagining Pokemon in the sky are going to look even stranger. Although I don't see anything except an Arbok, which I- Oh my gosh! Victory Bell flying around in the sky and Horsey! Oh my gosh, imagine being one of those people on the bridge and seeing like a giant, like, fly-catching Pokemon right above your head. That's got to be terrifying. That has to be absolutely scary. All right, let's go back to the cave. Had enough seahorses. I'm not even sure how the seahorses get up there, to be quite honest. And Kadabra floating around on the water. That looks really cool, too. This is so funny. This is really, really funny. And there's also a coach trainer down there. I don't think I'm going to battle that coach trainer. I'd rather just jump into the big battle in the cave. And also, one more thing, very important thing, is when I go into Cerulean Cave, there will be one more Pokemon that I can catch. This is truly going to be the last encounter of the run. And since we're gonna be doing that, I figure, you know what, it's time to put back on the original Ash Ketchum clothing. I switched before to the Team Rocket outfit to try to confuse Giovanni, he didn't really get too confused, but I think just for like good luck, I'm gonna put on my Ash Ketchum clothing, and since my Eevee doesn't have any like Ash clothing, I guess I'll just put on like the, the red hat. And let's see, what's the last encounter of this whole entire run going to be? And it is a, no, that was Leia, Leia's dead, I guess a Nidorino, and there was also a Nidoran male down there, but you know what? I'll take it. A Nidorina. Nidorina. All right, so that's level 56. That's a pretty high level Nidorina, and you know what? We had that Master Ball. Now, this is probably gonna be the craziest thing you've ever seen, but I'm gonna go ahead and use my Master Ball on this Nidorina, because what else am I gonna use it on, you know? So there we go, look at that beautiful animation. I guarantee you, you've never seen anybody use a Master Ball on a Nidorina before. And we actually, I'm not sure if we picked up a Moonstone, but we could probably get one and evolve this guy into a female, into a Needle Queen. So honestly, not too bad. And she is going to be Ray. So that's it. We've captured every Pokemon that we can catch. Now, if any Pokemon dies, we're going to have a little trouble replacing them. So let's hope nobody else dies. And that's kind of funny when we see a War Turtle walking around when we had one that died previously. Rest in peace, Leia. Anyway, we have a cave to explore, so let's go through it. And oh my god, look at that Aerodactyl over there floating around the water. He was not kidding. YouTube was not kidding when he said there's some really strong Pokemon in uh, Cerulean Cave. And also, something kind of fun that we could do here is these little glowing spots on the ground can potentially have a Master Ball. So you know what? I'm going to check all the spots, and it would be so crazy if we found another another Master Ball right after we used one. All right, so I checked every spot. Unfortunately, we didn't find any Master Balls, so let's keep going and find our way through the cave Vaporeon. Now that was an awesome Pokemon. I wish I got to use Poe a little bit longer. I think this is the right way. I think this is the right way. I 
it, I don't go here often, but it looks like the right way, and there's a Tauros and a Hitmonchan in this cave. And was that supposed to be the right way? Was I supposed to go with the water? Meowth, too. Why would there be little Meowths running around in Cerulean Cave? I don't know. This is so weird. Okay, escape rope. Hopefully we won't have to use it. I would feel kind of silly if we got lost to the point where I have to use it to get out and try again. But I think I'm going the right way. I'm finding items, which is usually a good sign. I noticed that, like, in the Pokemon games, generally they'll put items as, like, a little trail to teach you the right way to go. So I think this is it. And, you know, I've been through here before, so... Let's see. More items. All right, good sign. All right, yes, this looks familiar. So we just need to surf on the water, and I believe that the Mewtwo is going to be right over here. Oddish? I mean, I guess Oddish on the water kind of makes sense, because, you know, like, they're, like, plant Pokemon and everything, so I guess they could use the water to, like, oh. Okay, I was trying to explain that. Eevee didn't like my explanation, I guess. But I guess they could use, like, the little plant to suck up, suck up water and, like, fuel themselves and everything. But I can't really explain the pincer over there. That, that one's just weird. And look at Shadow Mewtwo standing in Cerulean Cave in all of his Shadow Mewtwo-y glory. So I didn't randomize the static encounters like Shadow Mewtwo, so this is going to be a Shadow Mewtwo battle. And I think the best way to do this battle is with my own Shadow Mewtwo, because we were fortunate enough to catch one earlier on. So, again, the plan is going to be use my Shadow Mewtwo against their Shadow Mewtwo to show that mine is better, and in case that fails, I do have a few backups. I tried to get- I put Chewbacca away because I don't want to use a fighting type Pokemon against this. That's just suicide. So let's hope this battle goes well. You know, I really just hope this goes well. We might be too low leveled. I might have trained up some more, but we'll see. And look how cool this little cutscene is. Oh my gosh! Wow, that Shadow Mewtwo is ready for a battle. I hope we are too. You know what? We are. Let's do it. Shadow Mewtwo has appeared and oh no, his stats rose too? Alright, that could get a little annoying. So it's already to be higher level than me. It's level, yeah, level 70 and then it has a stat boost on top of that. However, I do have Foul Play, which is super effective. So it's going to go for Amnesia, which raises its special defense, which is good. You know, I'd rather it do that than attack me. Hopefully it doesn't have anything too good against me. Oh, no, that's not going to two-hit KO it. This might be a problem, then. Yeah, this might not be too good. Okay, it's going for Psychic. Psychic does... Whoa, that did a lot. Oh, that was a critical hit. That's why. That's no fun. That's no fun. But we're in the red. We got him in the red, and we're also about to die. So you know what? I'm going to full restore right now. Heal up Anakin a little bit. And this is so weird. I'm using items against a wild Pokemon. Usually, I only have to use items in trainer battles. That's just how strong this Pokemon is. And wow, he was going for the kill there. Who's going to try to take me out, and that Psychic is still doing so much. I'm going to be scared. If he gets the special defense drop, that'll be a problem. Oh, no. He's one of these Pokemon with Recover. I thought he had Recover. He does. So we might need to get lucky, because at this point, we know he can just keep spamming Recover over and over and over again, and we will never win this battle. And there's a timer in the corner, so we only have like 3 minutes and 50-something seconds left to actually beat this thing. So I could go for the uh, risky strat I was talking about before. Let's try going for foul play again, though. I want to see. Yeah, it's still going to go for recover. So it's going to keep using recover over and over and over again. So I might have to bring out Hera right now. Let's just make sure it's still in the yellow. Because if it's in the yellow, it still wants to heal itself. So we'll bring out Hera. Hera will use Toxic. And you know what? I could do something really crazy. I just realized we have Minimize, too. I could go for Toxic, and I could go for Minimize and use those Evasion stats. But please don't do too much to Hera. Come on, Hera. Hello! Oh my god! I thought Hera would be able to take that! Uh-oh. That's not good. Alright, well the Attican thing's not working out too well. So let's try out Dooku. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I didn't... I thought... Hera would be able to do it. I thought Hera would at least be able to take a hit. I didn't think it would be a one shot. Wow. Oh, Hera. That's terrible. I also taught a few Pokemon on my team TMs. So we have some powerful moves. I'm going to try Mega Evolving into Y. And then Fire Blast. And hopefully that does a lot. Because we see the foul play isn't doing... Wow, that does nothing. Oh, but we got a burn. All right, that's something. That's something. That's some residual damage. We need that right now. All right, so Fire Blast does absolutely nothing. But we know... Oh, that's right. He did Amnesia before. 
but we have the burn now. So, if we could get some burn damage, and then we could get it back in with Anakin and do foul plays, we might be able to get a victory here. But we can't die. We can't die. We can't get a special defense drop so much. This is so risky. This is a dangerous, tough battle. If we didn't have these potions, we'd be done. And again, if he gets a crit or anything, this will go very differently. We just need him to keep going for Psychic or Amnesia. Psychic or Amnesia would be great right now. And as long as he doesn't, like, drop my special, we're okay. So I'm gonna try going for Foul Play. I think Foul Play with the burn damage, if he doesn't, he's gonna go for Recover. But we're getting some damage off now. And if this does more than Recover actually heals now, we should be okay. Plus, we always have that chance of getting a critical hit, but we only have a minute and 30 seconds left on the clock. So this is dangerous. This is really, really dangerous. And if it keeps going for Recover, I don't know how we're gonna win this. I don't want to lose this battle. I don't know what happens if we lose this battle, but I don't think it's going to be too good. We need to defeat... Oh, whoa! There we go, Anakin! Nice job, buddy, getting the critical hit. But we lost Hera in that battle. I guess, I think to continue on with, like, the game events, we need to catch this guy. So maybe I should have saved my Master Ball for this instead of using it on a neat arena. But that's okay. You know what? We've caught one Shadow Mewtwo before. We can catch another one now. So let's try it. We used our berry, and let me go for an excellent throw. Oh, wow, that was absolutely terrible. But hey, we don't have a timer anymore, so we can spend all the time we need on this thing. There we go. Excellent throw, because, you know, excellent. Although that didn't work too well. Let's try another golden raspberry. We have quite a few. Luckily, didn't find a master wall before, but I did find lots of berries. And those berries are really useful. So stop doing your little dances over there. I know you want to show your moves, but I want to show you what it's like to be inside of an ultra ball. So get in! Two! Three, and no, we were close. We were really, really close. Come on, another golden raspberry, let's try it. I really wanna catch this guy and just move on with the story. Ugh. I hope I have enough Ultra Balls, because we know legendaries, wow, look at that. That was a very good, excellent throw. I got it in in the last second, but obviously that Shadow Mewtwo doesn't care. Does not care at all. He says, you can get all the excellent throws you want, I'm not gonna get in your ball. But, okay, we have 26 Ultra Balls. I think we should be all right. Oh, he's moving. Moving over to the side. All right, still moving. Stop hopping. I want to get, like, ready and be able to throw a ball. Oh, wow. Oh, that was way off. I was trying to throw it to the side, but that wasn't working. There we go. That should be at least great. Nice. All right. One. Two. Ugh. I think this is going to be our last Golden Raspberry. Oh, wait, we can't even use it when it has, like, that special uh, Psychic Energy field up. I learned that when we tried to catch Pokemon earlier. And nope, nope, not gonna work. Not gonna work at all. So let's keep going for those Ultra Balls. That's our only hope now. And me throwing it straight is also another thing we need to work on. All right, let's go. Oh my gosh, I am tilting the controller, I swear. And it's still just going straight when I don't want it to. And then when it finally goes that way, Mewtwo hops. Come on, buddy. Just get in the ball. I've already caught you. Don't you want to join like your Shadow Mewtwo brother? Two? Alright. Oh, no, that was way off. But we still got him in the ball. Come on. One, two, three. Don't get my hopes up. Yep, got my hopes up. Wah. Oh, wait. Use the thing. Alright, excellent throw. One, two, probably gonna break it on the third shake. Oop. Yep, no, fourth shake. It's always that last one. It always gets right there, and it's like, you almost got him. You almost got him. But then he goes, Pfft. See, watch, it's gonna happen again. Oh! Okay. <laughs> there we go. We finally caught him. We only used like 20 something Ultra Balls and maybe like 30 something Great Balls. So. That was close, we almost didn't catch him, and oh, Hera's still on the team. I forgot, because that thing was so annoying that Hera died. Hmm, rest in peace, Hera. Well, we caught the Shadow Mewtwo, and now we have two Shadow Mewtwo's, but unfortunately, we did lose a team member in the process. And I really thought, you know, 225 HP, I thought that would be enough to take, you know, like, one hit. And even if it didn't live long enough, like, even if it took one hit and I could swap it out, I wouldn't let him die. So that's unfortunate. I really, really am sad that Hera 
is gone. But we've got to replace Hera. Let's put Chewbacca back on the team. We could do that now because, you know, Hera was kind of only for the Mewtwo fight. And they failed, unfortunately. But rest in peace, Hera. So there we go. We caught this guy who caused me so much trouble and gave me a death. But we can't use him. Because A, we already have another Shadow Mewtwo. And B, we caught a Pokemon in Cerulean Cave. So you're going to see the second craziest thing ever. I'm about to release this Shadow Mewtwo. So goodbye. Bye-bye, adios, go enjoy your time with Professor Oak. Thank you, my boy, this will help a good deal with my research. I think you've earned yourself a reward, and we only get, like, one smart candy for sending away a legendary Pokemon. What happens when you transfer a legendary Pokemon? That's what happens. Absolutely nothing. So let's get out of here, and I guess now I'll use that escape rope. Oh, YouTube, coming out as soon as I get out of the cave. Hey, Poketips! Oh, wait! Oh, wait, don't tell me. You already caught that super strong Pokemon, didn't you? I knew it, so it's called a Mewtwo, huh? You've seen it before, dude. I've been using it against you, like, the whole time. Man, you got to battle bef- Man, you got to battle Mewtwo before me or that girl. That girl? Who could he possibly be talking about? Huh? Oh, I ran into this gutsy girl who said she was looking for a powerful Pokemon. I think she meant Mewtwo. Well, I guess that's that. Here, take these. I won't need them now. Ooh, escape ropes. All right, I'll take it. I'll take it. Where do we get the Mewtwo Knights, though? I want to, like, mega evolve my Mewtwo. Maybe we get it... Oh, wow. I don't know if you guys saw that lag, but it was super laggy on my screen. Anyway, we're going to go back into this cave and battle that crazy weird girl. So let me first go heal and then we'll go in the cave. Alright, we're all healed up and Porygon in Cerulean Cave. That's a weird one. Imagine if we caught a Porygon. I don't think Porygon would be too useful because, you know, it doesn't really evolve in this game, but it would be a cool Pokemon to catch. Or that Aerodactyl that we saw in the water before. That would also be another awesome Pokemon to end the run with. But, you know, I can't really complain about the Neat Arena that we caught. Needle Queen is a really good Pokemon and we have some really good TMs to teach it. Needle Queen, ooh, Mew 2 Mew 3s. Where were those things the first time I came through here? Well, I guess, you know, we caught the, uh, we caught the Shadow Mewtwo in the bottom of the cave, and that awakens the other legendary Pokemon in the cave. I wonder what else we could find in here. But anyway, we have to go find that little excited girl in a Blastoise. Aw, I wish I had one. I really do. You know, we were so close to having all of the starters. We have Venusaur, we have Charizard, and unfortunately, when we had Wartortle, Wartortle died. So we could have been so close to having every single starter, but the randomizer just did not want that to happen. All right, so I believe that she's gonna be over here. Yes, there she is. So we are gonna have to battle her. Once again, I think my team's levels are all right. We just beat a level 70 super powered Mewtwo. So I'm assuming her Pokemon might be like a level or two higher, maybe. And you know what? If we're gonna go into this battle, I'll lead off with Dooku. Yeah, this is an alright team. This is a solid team. I think we'll be okay. So I'll lead off with Dooku, and we should be able to go in and talk to her. So let's see what she has to say. You know, unlike Red, she actually speaks. Oh, wait, did she just throw a Pokeball at me? Ow! Ow! Oh, <laughs> that's funny. I was talking about Pokeballs hurting Pokemon earlier, and now, boom! Right in the face, we get hit by a low-flying Pokeball. Did she just try to catch me? Looks like it really hurt. I'm grabbing onto my knees. Ooh, whoops! You're not a Pokemon! Do I look like a Pokemon to you? I mean, I have an Eevee on my head, so that's fair, but you can't catch my Eevee. Sorry, it's so dark in here. I saw you, and I thought you were some kind of Pokemon. I guess you need some glasses, lady. Well, uh, nice to meet you. I'm Green. So, hey, I'm just curious. Are you here because you're also looking for, you know, something special? Right, right, Mewtwo! Dread, so you already knew about it, huh? What? You've already caught it? Hey, no fair! I was planning on catching it first! And wow, we jump right into a battle with her. She wastes no time getting into this. That's pretty crazy. Pokemon Trainer Green, and she is a full team. Jinx, though, hey! This is good. We're finally leading off with a good matchup. Come on out, Dooku! There we go. So we should be able to Mega Evolve right here, right now. Yeah, let's do it. I don't think I'm going to need to save my Mega Evolution. And her Pokemon is level 72, so she definitely outlevels me. But, you know, I think I outskill her. So let's try this out. Come on out, Mega Dooku. Boom, and let's see how much this flamethrower does. Hopefully it one-shots. If it doesn't one-shot, I'll feel bad and I should have went for Fire Blast. I should have went for Fire Blast. And now it's going for Light Screen, too. So this is going to be extra annoying. I don't think I have Brick Break on Dooku. I'm not even sure if Dooku can learn Brick Break. But yeah, that'll be annoying because now all my uh, special attacking moves are going to do a lot less. So she's not switching out, which is a good thing. Which is definitely a good thing. 
that means we get the free kill. But now we have five more Pokemon to go, and she has Light Screen up. So who knows how this is going to go. Wigglytuff. Aww, you're going to taunt me? We just lost Hera, and now you're bringing out a Wigglytuff. Well, I'm not liking this too much. I want to bring out somebody who could get physical, you know? But who can really get physical? Everybody's like a special attacker on my team, except Chewbacca. And Chewbacca, no way in the world I'm bringing you out against them. So I guess what we've got to do is go for Earthquake. You know, I just want to see how much a Fire Blast does, even through that whole light screen. Probably not that much. Okay, it does decent. Will we burn it? Oh, no, 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 no. All right, we're out. We got to swap. We definitely got to swap. So this is going to be interesting. We don't really have anybody too great against this. Anakin, does Anakin still a Brick Break? Yes, Anakin does still have Brick Break. Oh, I don't know what I was about to say there. So we can try to break the light screen and then go for the special attacking moves again. But we're not saying anything against that Crab Hammer. Everything is Crab Hammer. That's like the randomizer's go-to water type move. And I'm not a big fan of that because it makes it so dangerous for me to use Dooku. But it looks like they really like going for that Crab Hammer. So that's going to be it. Let's try Psychic, though. I think Psychic will do a lot now, especially that the screen is down. Will it do enough to knock it out like the other one? Yes, it does. Okay, so we know. Never, ever, ever bring a Wigglytuff out against a Shadow Mewtwo. It just does not work well for any party involved. So that kind of feels like vengeance for knocking out when the computer knocked out my uh, Hera. So Firo, this is a bad matchup for the Firo because I can just go for Thunderbolt right now and knock this thing out. But it's going to go for Protect, you know, it's got to protect itself, see what I'm going to do. And now this is going to be interesting, because I know the game likes to switch. So if it has a Ground-type Pokemon on that team, they might just swap out into the Ground-type. But it looks like they're staying in, and when we get that Thunderbolt, not going to kill. Not going to kill. We're out-leveled. Oh, no. No, 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 no. 19 HP. Wait, I was faster, right? Yeah, I was faster. I was definitely faster. So we could go for Thunderbolt again? No! Oh, no! Oh, no! It had Aqua Jet! Firo! Aqua Jet! Why? Why does it have Aqua Jet? We outsped it! That should have been fine! When does Firo get Aqua Jet? That was a death that should not have happened. Like, I had- I did not have a reason to heal. I had no- uh, Duh! This is crazy! We just lost Anakin! This is terrible! There goes my legendary Anakin! Anakin was such a powerful Pokémon. We used him so much throughout this run. And now he's just gone, just like- just like that. And nobody can really battle this team. This team is so tough. Like, literally everything because of the levels. Everything, like, two-hit KOs me. I want to go for Ice Shard right now. And I think we could probably kill it with Ice Shard, but I'm scared. I'm really, really scared. Because, let's see. Surf has 90 base power. Ice Shard has 40 base power. They're both super effective. Should I just swap? I could probably switch into Finn. I don't want to lose another Pokemon this episode. We already lost two. We can't lose three. That's too many. That's way too many. And yeah, the special attack is a lot higher. We could probably knock it out with Ice Shard, but I don't want to take the risk, you know? I don't want to put my Pokemon at an unnecessary risk. I know Finn can handle this thing, unless it has Fissure. Unless it just goes out of the blue and just is like, you know what? Let's KO you. Fissure. One shot. I don't think so, though. Let's see. Earth- What? What? Ugh. What just happened here? What is going on? Can somebody please explain this? You know what? We're just gonna go for Ice Shard with Gardula. We're gonna try it. You know, we're gonna see what, what happens. What just happened though? I switch? I get critted? Oh my god. This is terrible. Come on, Ice Shard, please kill it. Okay, that was enough. Again, that's another death that just shouldn't have happened. We just lost two amazing Pokemon out of the blue. Oh my god. Green. I don't even know if I can keep going. I don't know what we're going to do. Green isn't the hardest trainer that we have to fight. We have much, we have a much, much, much harder trainer. And we just lost like 
our team. What do I do against this Golduck now? I guess we could try Chewbacca, but let's hope Chewbacca doesn't have... I mean, let's hope Golduck doesn't have, like, a flying move or something crazy. Oh, no. We lost Anakin and we lost Finn. All right, at least we got a good switch here. That's what we can... That's decent, you know? That's decent. All right, and Bubble. But we just lost Finn and we lost Anakin. And you guys know, if you've been watching the episodes, Finn and Anakin have really been, like, the ba the backbone of the team. Like, they're really important. And we just lost two of our best Pokemon. So this is it. This is really the end game. We're gonna have to figure out how to win this run with our team defeated. This is terrible. All right, so green has one more Pokemon left. One more. And we have four. But who knows? Vaporeon. All right, so again, oh wow, that's level 74. Yeah, what can I do here? I guess I have to like heal with, um, on Chewbacca. Because I don't want to try switching out Obi-Wan into anything. Obi-Wan doesn't have the uh, defenses to be able to switch in safely. So let's see what it's going to go for. Crab Hammer? Scald. Oh, if it gets a burn on me, that's it. And we can't even stay in. That's it. All right, we're going to have to try. Let's try Obi-Wan. Let's try him. Because Obi-Wan has decent moves that makes it so we might be able to deal with this situation. But it all depends on if Obi-Wan can swap in and, you know, not take a ridiculous amount of damage. It's still a lot. That's still a lot more than I would like it to do to me. So, uh, I could try going for an X special defense if I have one. I think I have an X special defense. That might be enough to help me live. But the problem here is if I get burned, that's it. So let's let's try it. Let's see how it goes. This is This is everything here. Can we take it? Yes, we can. Will we get burnt? No! Oh my god. Oh my god. We are so unlucky this episode. This is terrible. This is terrible. This is really, really bad. We're just getting burned. We're getting critted. We're just dying out of the blue, and I don't have any answers to this Pokemon, really. I really don't. What can I possibly do to beat this thing? I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know how many items I have left. What can we do here? I could try to Ice Beam and maybe we'll get lucky and freeze it, but as soon as we get burns... Ugh. I mean, I also have Rest, so I could try stalling this thing. Let's see. I, I know I have another item after this one. So I could try stalling it until, you know, it runs out of Scald, but then I don't know what'll happen from there. This is a disaster. Oh, we got a Freeze! That's something. Although I'm not trusting the game to keep me lucky enough to, you know, like, stay, keep it frozen. So we're going to full restore. I can't believe we just lost, like, literally everyone. I'm in shock right now. Yeah, exactly. Scald melts the ice. So, like, even if we get the freeze, we don't have anything. And we got burns now. So Scald melted the ice, burned Gardula, and now we're in a hopeless scenario. What can we do? I'm just going to try resting until it's out of skull. Alright, so I think I successfully stalled this thing out of Scald, and that's sad that I had to use that strategy to actually be able to beat this Vaporeon, but I don't- I can't afford to lose anybody else this run. So, so far, it's used Water Gun, and it has used Wrap on me, which are dangerous. Very, very dangerous moves. By themselves, they don't do that much, but because you know, I'm getting constant damage from the Wrap, which does like a percentage, and it also makes it so I can't swap out, this is kind of scary. This is very, very scary. 
So I'm gonna go for another potion here. I really don't think I have that many. This is probably like my second to last, if not last thing. Let me see. I used a potion. Oh, it has rest too. Of course it has rest too. Why wouldn't it have rest? So its moveset, very annoying, was Scald, Water Gun, Wrap, and Rest. So that's it. How do I beat this thing? I have two turns now. Can I swap? I think I'm still stuck in here. I'd really like to swap. No, I can't swap out. What I'll do here is, let's assume this is my last item. Let's assume it is. I'll go for... I could try using Dooku as well. You know, we'll get hit by a super effective, um... Water... No, that's not smart. We'll go for... We'll heal up Chewbacca, and then we'll hit him with the super effective Thunder Punch. What I was thinking about doing with the Dooku strategy is going for Air Slash. Air Slash would give it a 30% chance to flinch every single turn, and if I get lucky, which I probably won't because this episode's been so unlucky for me, if I get lucky, then you know what, we could power through this, but I probably won't get lucky. So we know we have to swap, we can't stay in here with Gardula, because Gardula's just not going to do enough damage, and eventually I'll run out of moves before it does. So we're free from the rap, we're done, we don't have to listen to it rap anymore, so let's try bringing out Chewbacca. Let's hope this works. This thing is devastating. This is the toughest battle we've faced yet, because literally I can still lose. This battle can end in a heartbeat. Like this, we I don't know if we're gonna win. I don't. This is scary, we've got Wrap and then we've got Thunder Punch. All right, so Thunder Punch does all right. It's doing all right, but it's not doing enough. We need to get lucky again like we with we did with the uh, Mewtwo battle and get a critical hit. Otherwise, that's it. Or maybe it'll be nice and go for rest. Yeah, that's that's a best case scenario for us right now. Because this gives us turns to do damage on it. It's faster than us, so we get to hit it now. And we get to hit it, I want to say, like the next two turns for free as well. So this can actually work very well in our favor. Let's see. Come on, Chewbacca. It's all up to you now. We're gonna take some rap damage. But we might be able to win this with the Thunder Punches, because I think it just misplayed really hard by going for rest. So yeah, this is its first sleeping turn, and we get a free Thunder Punch on it, and it's going to be the second sleeping turn, and we should be able to get one more Thunder Punch on it, and that should knock it out. Although I'm not liking how low my health is getting right now with Rap. It seems like Rap is doing 12 damage a turn. So this is it. Can we knock it out with Thunder Punch? We need this to happen. Come on! Oh my gosh, thank you Chewbacca. Thank you so much, Chewbacca. Oh, wow. That was a battle. Now that was a battle. Some of these battles have been easy. Oh yay, we got the Mewtwo Knights after Anakin dies. That's really sad. So yeah, that's the green battle, guys. We lost half of our team in that battle, and the other half was not looking too good. I hope I didn't go over the item limit. I don't think that I did. I did lose track, though. But Anakin, Obi-Wan, and Finn all died. That is rough. That's really, really rough. So Anakin, rest in peace. Oh, we've gone through so much with you, buddy. I can't believe it. I can't believe we just lost those guys. Where, where's everybody else? I can't even find them. I'm so blind. Where are they? Obi-Wan. Rest in peace. And Finn. You guys are amazing. And now... And of course, we lost Hera too. That was four Pokemon this episode. Four. And we... This is it! So yeah, we only have the only Pokemon that are still alive and the only Pokemon we could use for the rest of the run are Dooku, Jawa, Ray, Padme, Lando, Gardula, Chewbacca, Sarlacc, Jango, and Windu. That's it. So we have, what is that, 10 Pokemon options left. And honestly, not all these Pokemon are the strongest, you know? Jawa, I'm not too confident in the Jawa's abilities. Ray is definitely coming on the team. I think Ray, we need you. Django, we definitely need you. Sarlacc, we would like that grass type coverage. And this 
will probably be the team. I might bring Windu back. I might bring Padme back. Lando is always an option. And of course, we have Jawa, although I'm honestly not too confident, confident in Jawa. But you never know. The Pokemon that you aren't... But you never know. The Pokemon that you aren't too, like, confident about can be the ones that really shock you. When I first got Chewbacca, I really didn't think Chewbacca was that great. I never really used one before. But look at what Chewbacca just did for us now. Chewbacca and Gardula, the team of those two together, won us that fight. Dooku, as much as I like Dooku, there was no way I could swap Dooku into one of those Scalds, you know. We would have died. Gardula was able to stall out those Scalds for me, and Chewbacca gave him the final thunder punch and knocked him out. So, we've got to train up some Pokemon. Let me know what you guys think I should use, because we have some battles coming up. We have the Master Trainer battles, and then after that, we have the final battle. The epic, the end of all ends of the run. And then we'll be done. So, guys... I'll be seeing you in the next episode. Gonna train everybody up a little bit because we can't beat anybody with this team, to be quite honest. And it might be really sad now. We lost so many good guys this episode. But I think there is a glimmer of hope. We're not gonna lose.